Good morning, St. Mark's. Another week in these strange COVID-19 times and another short little video to your inbox. This video will have one idea to connect with your neighbors, two ideas for your quiet times, and three things you need to know for this coming Sunday. So first, one idea to connect with your neighbors. A friend of mine on Facebook posted a letter that he wrote to the houses in his street. Um, he realized that this time of social isolation actually provided a unique opportunity to connect in a way he hadn't before. And so the letter that he wrote started like this. Hi neighbors, it's Roger and Leah from up the street. We've been thinking about what being good neighbors might mean in the current move towards social isolation. We reckon it'd be great to know that we can look out for each other, even if it's just asking for a roll of toilet paper, while there's a heightened concern about people's health. The letter goes on to suggest starting a Facebook group for the houses in his street where people could share with each other concerns they have or needs that they have. And so my first idea to connect with your neighbours is to write a letter like this to the houses in your street or the units in your unit block and suggesting starting a Facebook group or if you don't have Facebook, maybe just giving your personal details and a warm note saying that they can contact you if they need to, if you're comfortable doing that. That's my first idea to connect with your neighbours. My two ideas for your quiet times. If you're anything like me, you're finding it quite hard to switch off from the news and social media. And so I'm realizing that starting the day in prayer and reading the Bible is more important than ever. And so my two ideas for that are reading a psalm a day or maybe two psalms a day because they've said this period will last 90 days. If you read two psalms a day, you'll easily cover the whole book. So uh, the psalms are just so good because they express a range of human emotions and they train us to bring those emotions to God. And we're going to ex um, experience a whole range of emotions in these times. And, and so being sort of trained by the psalmist to look to God in these times is just so important. So my first tip, read a psalm or two a day. My second tip is uh, connected to the first Choose one verse from one of the Psalms each week and memorize it, maybe as a family or maybe with someone at church. Um, for example, there's this golden verse in Psalm 18, verse 2. We're going to say it together in our services this weekend. Psalm 18, verse 2. The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Now imagine that verse, the truth of that verse, sinking deep into your heart. That's what memorizing scripture does. It sinks the truth of the scripture into your heart. And so my second tip is to choose one verse from one psalm each week and memorize it. It will pay dividends. And my uh, three things you need to know for this coming Sunday are, first, daylight saving ends on Saturday night. That means you need to turn your clock backwards one hour on Saturday night before you go to sleep. Otherwise, you will turn up early to our Zoom meetings and no one will be there. So turn back your clock on Saturday night, one hour. The second thing you need to know is that this coming Sunday, we're doing something new again. We've never had virtual Lord's Supper together and we're going to this Sunday. So be sure that you have ready to go a piece of bread, a small piece of bread and either fruit juice or grape juice or, or maybe some wine if you're old enough um, so that when we have the Lord's Supper, you're all ready to go. That's the second thing you need to know. And third, you need to know that to join the Zoom meetings, go to the St. Mark's Freshwater.org website, our website, and, uh, and scroll down on the homepage and you'll see a button uh, for the particular service that you're in to join the Zoom meeting. So go to, go to our website and scroll down a little bit to join the Zoom meeting this Sunday. It was so good seeing everyone on, on Zoom last Sunday. I'm sure you all enjoyed seeing each other's faces. I'm really looking forward to seeing you again soon. Um, and so God bless. See you soon.